All right, I am here in Woodbury, Minnesota at the Alamo Draft House, and I will be attending their annual horror movie marathon called Dismember. Now, there's going to be four films uh, back to back. I'm going to be watching all of them. In between them, I'll be giving you reviews of each one. Uh, I don't know what films they're going to be playing, it's a big mystery. And uh, that's it. All right, just got done with the first film in their uh, movie marathon. It was Uninvited. It's a 1980s science fiction movie about a killer cat that's stuck on this boat or some kind of mutant cat inside of a cat. <laughs> it's never uh, truly explained. It's a, it's a very funny, cheesy 1980s film, like I said, with a killer cat. Uh, it's got some big names. It's got George Kennedy in it. This must have been a paycheck movie for him. It's got Cool Gallagher in it, so <laughs> he's got a good performance and then played some sort of crazy guy. And yeah, you know, funny dialogue here and there, so uh, I enjoyed it. All right, on to the next film. <laughs> Okay, just got done watching another movie in the uh, horror movie marathon. Uh, this one was called Cemetery Terror. It's a uh, Mexican film, and it's a lot like, say, the, the Evil Dead, because you've got this, you know, Book of the Devil that this sort of Michael Myers-like character was using to get give himself powers, and then he, he he gets killed in the beginning, shot dead, and there's this Dr. Loomis character who says, hey. He wasn't just a psycho, he, he, he had demonic powers, we gotta burn the body, but they don't. And then you have these guys who break into his, his mansion, which is, you know, an old haunted house. You know, they find the book, and they decide they need to find themselves a corpse. So they end up stealing his corpse, take it to a cemetery, do the ritual, he comes back to life, kills all of them, and then he starts chasing after these kids. Yeah, this was, this was a fun one to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly a bunch of little kids running around from zombies the whole time. And you've got the Dr. Loomis character who <laughs> is just driving the cop car from scene to scene, just going nowhere. Because, you know, uh, doesn't know where he's supposed to go. So, <laughs> like I said, all around a fun movie to watch. All right, so what's the old saying? You should be uh, grateful for the things you have. I am grateful that uh, Alamo Draft House brought back their uh, Dismember Horror Movie Marathon, but the last film we watched wasn't a film. It was an hour worth of uh, trailers for these shot the video uh, movies like um, The Burning Moon, <laughs> uh, Full metal zomb or heavy metal zombies, uh, cannibal camp out. Yeah, it's an hour of that, and like Nigerian films, their trailers and some old old commercials from like you know local TV stations. Yeah, you know, I, I paid to see four films, and instead we're just gonna watch three tonight. But like I said, I'm grateful just that they brought this back. Hopefully next year it'll be better. One more film, what's more into the breach. All right, just watched the last film in the Alamo's uh, Dismember Horror Movie Marathon. It was Flesh Eater. This is a movie I've heard a lot about. Uh, it's like this unofficial prequel to the original Night of the Living Dead where you see the cemetery zombie, and you see where he came from before he uh, came to the cemetery. You see him get dug out out of the ground, and uh, he comes alive and starts biting people, turning them into zombies. They turn other people into zombies, and there's a big shootout at the end. This was an incredibly goofy movie, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, not only do you have Bill Heinzman in this, but you also have the guy who played Vince, you know, the one that shoots Ben at the end of that movie. In this as well, playing Vince again. <laughs> so that was the perfect movie to end the marathon on.